It's the darkest be before the dawn. A few years ago, I heard this sentence and in that time it was very important to me. Good evening my friends and welcome to Instagram Live with my Reiki teacher from India, Nehru. And I'm so honored to have her as a guest. Soon she will join us and I will wait for you to see that this live has come. And you can share this live uh, with uh, your friends. Uh, even you don't know English at all or maybe just a few words, stay with us, feel the energy and maybe you will feel something different. I'm, uh, I'm delighted because my beautiful, beautiful teacher from India uh, will be my guest this evening. So, I never heard about a person who stayed on, who lived on Bali or Thailand or some other beautiful place uh, and in that, in the in life of that person everything was good, everything was beautiful and that person needed to meditate, to go to Reiki, to go to find a therapist or something like that. No, for, uh, the people who have trouble, who have a lot of things which uh, ruin them, which is hard to handle, uh, start to seek, uh, to find some uh, stuff which can help them to feel better. For me, that was two things. That was Reiki and gratitude. And this evening, my guest will be beautiful, my Reiki teacher. We will talk about gratitude and Reiki. So, I will... And feel the energy, you can ask questions about Reiki, about uh, the things we will speak about. There she is. Hi, Tanja, and everybody, hi. It's so amazing to be live with Tanja, who has and definitely, you know, brought the best out of me as a teacher, as a person. And definitely, I must tell you that, uh, you know, everything is magical in life if you have the belief, the power, and uh, the amazing understand that you can connect with anything. But before we connect with the people outside, we must connect with ourselves. And we must connect with the potential that the God has blessed us with. Invariably, with the passage of time, we have forgotten to understand ourselves. We have also forgotten to understand how vital and how important it is in life to be in sync with our thought our body, our mind, and definitely that is essential because, you know, every time when we look outside in the world, we only see a particular place which is beautiful. But we forget that we are even more beautiful and divine because we all know that uh, the universe does not create anything by chance. Universe creates only beautiful divine souls. And in our Hindu culture, from where I am, we have been taught that when we are born, the God, you know, takes over our body. And the heartbeat is actually the God beating in us. And when we bow down, in our Hindu culture, we put our hands in the posture like that close to our heart because we are taught that the God needs to be bowed down each day. And when we bow down to another person and say namaste or gratitude or uh, hello, we say we are actually saying gratitude to the other person's divine soul as well. Now, it's, it's when we, beautiful yeah. uh, that, you says, uh, that you said our team uh, to, uh, this night will be about Reiki. And most uh, beautiful part of Reiki is gratitude. Yeah. I will, uh, told the story how gratitude uh, come into my life. And then I want you to express okay, your sure. story about gratitude and how gratitude changed your life. 
Uh, okay. In 2016, my life was in ruin. I was without a job. My partner didn't have a job. We almost, I don't know how we survived that year. Uh, he was uh, sick. Uh, he almost died because of diabetes complica complications. Uh, and on that day, when he went to hospital, in my inbox on Facebook, uh, some person sent me a book about gratitude, uh, a book called Magic. Uh, of Rhonda Byrne. In that time, I only started to meditate, just a little work on myself. And when I saw the name of that book, it was a magic. I saw, I thought it is some kind of magicians. I don't know. I, I, I don't even uh, open the book. I just put it in my inbox and I said, okay, one day maybe I will look. And that person recommended that book to me. And I said, okay one day but i didn't have uh, attention uh, to to open that book at all and that time after i think about a one and a half year uh, in next six uh, months i i i meet uh, my reiki teacher from belgrade where i learned first and second degree of reiki and Reiki touched my soul, but um, I didn't uh, recognize the power of gratitude that in that time. It was just a little bit. And uh, a year in 2018, when I met you, and uh, I learned uh, my uh, uh, third degree and fourth degree of Reiki, and I started to learn to teach Reiki other peoples. And in that time on WhatsApp, you had, you made one uh, gratitude uh, group, chat, chat group, and you started some challenge, uh, 28 days, and you, uh, you talk about gratitude. I didn't know that this challenge was based on the book, book. which I had in my inbox about almost two years ago received. I, I received that book, but I didn't know what it's all about. And when I saw you, your energy, the way you talk about the gratitude, I was, I fall in love with gratitude, uh, with to listening to you talking about gratitude and, and all that, all, uh, each day you send some uh, re yeah. uh, challenge to us. And in that time, I uh, invited my friend, come in this group, Nero is doing such a good uh, challenge. Uh, one of my uh, of my friends said I don't know English I don't understand the second friend I don't have time third friend I said oh my god nobody wants to do that challenge with me but I'm that kind of person when I do something I want all the people, people to do it. that with me yeah and I uh, I felt so much beautiful energy with when you talk about gratitude and you, when you gave us that uh, uh, all all day challenge 28 days and i said why i uh, i can't do that challenge on serbian language and then i made the facebook group which called uh, gratitude uh, i don't know what it's called uh, uh, grateful heart is a, yeah. a magical magnet i don't know uh, which, which, I, I, I don't and i did that challenge in that group from that period, I, I, I have a Reiki in my life for about a year and a half, but I, my life started to change, but not that speed I wanted to change. But when gratitude came in my life and when I felt it, uh, that time was most beautiful in my uh, life. And that was uh, the period of my, uh, greatest changes how gratitude came into your life uh, yeah. in, in my life yeah. gratitude came through you so okay. thank you i must thank i'll you tell you that. see uh, there was a phase in my life like you said we all have ups and downs and uh, when the downs are going down we believe that it's nothing we are not going to get anything better in our life and we are going to stuck and there is the worst phase which we cry of course i cried my share there was a phase in 2007 and 8 where I was going through very many challenging situations, ordeals, mindsets. I was 
giving up on most of the things it was like i was in coma with all the tubes not actually in coma but my mind was just stuck and uh, at that point in time i understood one thing very clearly that you know no matter what happens in our hindu in our hindi culture like you know i used to my daughter was going through you know a low phase and i used to just tell her in hindi i'll translate man ke hare haar hai man ke jeete jeet it means that if your man or your mind your or your heart accepts defeat you are defeated but if your mind and your soul do not accept defeat you cannot be defeated and that was one phrase which i clung on to i just managed to you know there's one place i would you know share now apparently i'll take a leap after that approximately in 2013 I was in Mumbai with my niece. We both were in the mall, and she picked up this book from a bookstore. She told me, "I want to pick up a book." And since I like to read books, I just went in with her, having no clue what is the book about. Oh, she said, "I want to buy this book because my fiance, my is you know wanting to read this book." I said, "Okay, fine." So she picked up the book, and I asked, "What is this all about?" She said, "No, it's a nice book, you know." I said, "Okay, fine." Even I picked up that book. and after that i very devotedly started giving doing those challenges and trust me i do not know how life unfolded i do not know how things happened in my life everything suddenly started you know manifesting in reality universe started showing me signs universe started being with me and you know everything which i thought was impossible suddenly started becoming possible there was a manifestation which just suddenly came in front of my eyes and i did it i will share the manifestation later with you you can share it with people it was the wheel fortune you just have to make a manifestation and you have to just keep on repeating it trust me when i started doing it and uh, it just was not even a month those tasks were so impossible that everything started collaborating in the universe very soon i have managed to overcome my past problems i started manifesting so many things and they started turning into reality and everything which i thought could never be possible just with the two letter word thank you when people say thank you for you know you know buying a coffee or for a restaurant or giving a gift we think you know we have created this thank you to be very powerless we don't believe in its powers that's the magic of that book magic when you start believing in the magic of gratitude you will understand there's nothing in this universe which cannot be turned into reality and afterwards imagine you knew what was reiki i never knew what was reiki somebody gave me a switch word after that they say now when you are ready to receive this ain reiki when the student is ready the teacher appears for me the teacher was supreme god himself i could connect with him i could talk to him i started understanding the language which apparently was not audible or you know are not understanding to me and after that i was you know chanting a switch word suddenly like my sister said you know apparently it brings money and money is something we all feel okay fine the more we have the more better it is going to be and once i started ch- chanting it little did i know that in the next 45 days i'm sitting in a class which is of reiki and i'm wondering what am i doing here i don't even know what reiki is how can i be sitting here and when i sat through that class i understood something that invariably the mission of my life is something very different from what i have been believing it to be and after that i not only got dived into the plunged into the pool of reiki healing but i managed to within the next 6 months or 7 months i completed all my levels and something even more magical entered into my life crystals they say crystals only reach out to people who are ready to you know share their thoughts share their knowledge impart happiness in other people's life so i felt that that's what universe wants me to do universe does not want me to be a person with you know a defined being existence they wants me to elaborate to reach out to people 
And when I joined the face group, that's when Dijan entered and he connected through me that I want you to be my Reiki teacher. For me, it was like, because, you know, in that manifestation wheel, you know, what was most prominent, I wanted to be able to connect with the universe. But I had a condition. I wanted to sit at home and connect with people. I did not want to go out into the universe. I was just very prominent. I'm going to be working. I'm going to be working from home. I want people to connect with me. And for that, I had shown gratitude in advance. They say when you are show gratitude in advance, you open up channels. You know, you open up pathways which are very defining, which are very magical. Now, let's get back to this book, Magic. What does magic mean to us? What does it mean to you, Tanja? What does magic mean to you? The, the magic of gratitude, uh, I, I, I wanted to ask you about the magic of gratitude. Uh, for me, gratitude was, uh, it was very hard for me to be uh, gra grateful in front of. I'm oh, grateful so. when I receive something. I was grateful when something good is coming to my life. Uh, Everybody is grateful on that way. And yeah. It's so a little part of gratitude. Uh, but yeah. to, to be grateful in front of, uh, be, yeah, to be grateful in hard situations, when we learn to be grateful in that situation, that is truly, truly grateful. That's it. For me, uh, grateful means... Uh, I accept and I love everything. Uh, not, uh, uh, not such a, a small definition of gratitude. Oh, thank you. I'm receiving everything. No, it's some kind of love for everything. Everybody. Ev for everything and everybody and everything which comes in my life, uh, even good or not good. And that was the best lessons, uh, that hard lessons. Uh, when I learned to feel grateful, uh, even in dead times, I have a lot of uh, hard times in my life. And when I uh, learned to feel a gratefulness, uh, to feel gratitude in that uh, time of my life, when I first uh, made the uh, gra gratitude challenge, I didn't have money, I didn't have job, my, my, uh, I, I have a lot of issues with my uh, health, and uh, my partner had issues with health. Uh, all my life was falling apart. And in that time, uh, when we uh, when we done uh, the gratitude uh, challenges with money, uh, and uh, we need to to have uh, money and to write on money. I'm grateful for all the money. In that uh, time, I didn't have money. I had just a little money in my uh, wallet and I need to, 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 uh, to, to write on my money. I'm grateful for all the money I had in my life. I said, oh my God, I, I didn't know how to be grateful. I didn't know what is uh, uh, gratitude. gratitude. Exactly. Uh, so uh, I learned gratitude uh, through Reiki a lot of, uh, through challenges. Uh, I, I thought, I think that I learned about gratitude uh, in life challenge. And you? I, I learned gratitude, you know, like they say, uh, a long time ago. Like, you know, of course, like uh, being a housewife, I had I don't hear you. I don't hear you very well. Maybe. You uh, know, actually, <coughs> can you hear me now? Something okay. is... Uh, uh, I think the fire alarm or something is there. Mm -hmm, so maybe. actually... There was a time, of course, like my husband used to give me pocket money. So I had a particular little amount of money. So definitely you want the pocket money to increase. So I said, when I got that manifestation deal, I said, why don't I manifest that my pocket money increases? So I started manifesting that what is the amount I want. So I did it. You know, it's a very simple tool. All you have to make is a circle, big circle on a paper. And I'll just guide you how you do you make it. Okay, so you make a circle. You make a circle like this. Yes. Okay. And then you make a small circle inside like this. Okay. okay. So in that small circle inside, you write your main wish. So I said, I am getting uh, 
five thousand per month from my husband, and you create divisions in the outer circles, and you just state your feelings because what is it that is going to get across to your you know the universe? The universe wants to listen to your mindset. So I started saying thank you so much for the money which I'm buying a nice uh, you know shoes with. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for the money. that i am able to now be more independent and you know wisely i use those manifestations within no time the allotted amount my pocket money should have been my father in law just said okay fine you know you will get this much amount i was very happy after a couple of days a month i decided oh that much money is less so i increased the amount to 20000 then 50000 then 1 lakh then 2 lakhs and trust me in very believe the amount i wanted i started getting so that was you know getting gratitude in advance but of late when i understood you know we generally are grateful for bigger things in our life you know we are grateful for the money we are grateful for this but we are not grateful for the blessings to be alive the blessing to be alive each morning to be healthy each day to be able to open your eyes and see the universe each day to be able to understand that your people your family is alive your loved ones are there you can talk to them you can be with them that in itself is the more this emprendy of god that the god wants you to understand that you know when you collect you know tiny shells they say you know we would rather pick up a rock but one big rock is one big gratitude but when you pick up tiny fragments of you know from the beach you just say thank you for the mother earth thank you for this tiny salt thank you for the pepper in my house thank you for the money which i can buy a fridge thank you for the water bottles in my house thank you for the running tap water thank you that i have water to have bath with you know suddenly you will notice that those tiny things in our life are more vital to us they are very important to us suddenly that one single dress which you said gratitude food for is not essential essential are the elements of god elements which are they say in our hindu culture we have five fingers and there are five elements earth water air ether sky these are the five elements by which our body is made up of and we have to show the appreciation in every single moment but apparently it's not happening so that is why over a passage of time the magic which we had has been lost but it's always best to revive it i found a very amazing way to revive the challenges of life and you know to deal with our daily situations every night we all go to sleep but can we not devote at least 5 minutes before we go to sleep just before going to sleep what are we going to do you know you can place your hand on your abdomen just place one hand on your abdomen and place one hand on your chest okay now what you are going to do is just before going to sleep i want you to breathe in if you breathe in you and then you pause okay one breathe pause then the second breathe pause again then you breathe in hard what is you when you notice that first you are breathing in through your stomach then you are breathing in through your lungs and then you are sucking the entire negative energy and then when you release it release it in one go you will notice a tremendous change in your system and your thought at that point in time because what are you doing these three inhalations and exhalations are going to give you a rigorous deep cleaning and at that point in time you're going to say thank you to your stomach because it has gone through a lot of torture of your eating throughout the day everything you put you put through your mouth goes through your oh, windpipe the mouth and then into the stomach which is churning so it's a gratitude so you're going to say gratitude to your stomach gratitude to your lungs and gratitude that you are able to breathe in gratitude after that you know you are going to stay 
non-stop gratitude for everything which occurred in your life occurred in the sense you're going to show gratitude for the people whom you met for the ability that you could wake up and open your eyes gratitude that everything around you was so amazing you know the sense of positivity if you want to increase like sugar in your life or your coffee you will keep on adding gratitude to it we've never been so conscious to say gratitude to the sun to the light to the air to the mother earth to which not only bears things. yeah the simple things what about those simple things which if you keep saying gratitude to each day when you close your eyes at that point in time and show gratitude to each internal organ we complain when the organ is in pain we complain when we have a arm aching leg aching mind aching things not happening in your life at this point in time you have that ability to alter any body form anything in your life which is not happening at that point in time alter it you are free to do what you want with your life with just one tool one key which cannot only you know reframe the past it can create a new future and it can unblock your present challenges we all are dealing with challenges but we tell the god why me i say why not me because i am ready to face the challenges challenges are not given to everybody challenges are given to those who god blesses and believes that this child of mine is capable to handle what i'm giving him so when we believe in god we have to make our beliefs very strong we have to understand that when i am showing gratitude in the night for the tiny blessings the major blessings and their blessings for people blessings you know i do is i re, you know i recollect every single moment of my day and i just play a recorder in my mind the minute i have woken up i just say thank you i put my feet on the ground thank you mother earth thank you i go to the washroom thank you i'm in the capacity to hold my brush i have the money to buy a toothbrush i have a money to buy paste i have fresh water i have the ability to you know have a bath in the comfort zone i have all the products which are needed for a hygienic bath the ability to have and those tiny things like today if you have a shower would you not want a towel as well but have you shown gratitude to a towel you've taken the towel to be granted is there but the money you put in buying a towel is it not a time to show gratitude if you are stuck with money issues financial issues you know when your collective gratitude becomes a big vast enormous gigantic you know uh, power it becomes a warehouse of gratitude universe cannot hold so much of gratitude coming from you so what happens it bursts that crowd and you uh, will see magnificent magical moments entering into your life because suddenly when you become one with the creator the universe does not want you to have challenging moments universe is your father mother earth is your mother why would any mother and father want you to go through torture tremendous you know the god wants you to enjoy this life but how often do you enjoy life because you are busy complaining and trust me complaints one single complaint you know deducts your 10 100 bless uh, gratitudes so that powerful one negativity is whenever you are not happy with the presence of people you are creating negativity in your own body system with the passage of time i understood my negative thoughts are like acid they not only you know ruin my well being they create a negative aura in my life so wherever i go i'm carrying that bundle of negativity with me wouldn't you love to meet people why are you so radiated by beautiful light you know the color golden and silver enamors everybody we love the sparkles we love the light but why can't we be the light for others why do we need to be stuck and stagnant why can't we enter a room and the radiance with show and bless people with why can't you just stand there and you know show gratitude to everybody so when i do this practice after my releasing my lungs i show gratitude and gratitude and gratitude at least for non stop 5 minutes once i'm done with 
I do a five minutes of blessings. Blessing those people who may not be my good friends or I may have some friction with or over a period of time we are lost, we have lost touch. Maybe they don't like me anywhere. We call them our enemies. But you know, when I tap every night, I said, who is my enemy? I just can't pick point because I don't believe anybody to be my enemy. Because, you know, forgiveness makes space for something better to come into your life. I, and when you want, forg- I want to recommend uh, one beautiful movie uh, about forgiveness and about the power of prayer. It calls uh, War Room. Uh, okay. And it's a beautiful, beautiful movie uh, which helps us to forgive. And uh, I'm, I, I recommend it from... I watched it today for the okay. tenth time, I, I think. Oh. And uh, the, the one uh, sentence you tell to me uh, when we are talking about this life, and you said you are in Canada now, and you asked me, did you went to Canada sometimes? Uh, I, I said I didn't came to Canada till now and to USA. And I, that is my, uh, my big wish to come to USA, yes. to Canada. And you said, oh, you didn't work here. You have the power of gratitude. Yeah. You can do anything. Yeah. And that, that your uh, words uh, came into it's... my heart. With all You're the telling, power of that. I'm telling you, uh, you know what? My daughter had a big wish list. You know, she wanted these things in her life. And she trusts me blindly. She has so much of faith in me. She says, you know, whenever I have a wish, I put it to you because I know you will create it into reality. She was very clear that what sort of a boy she wants to get married to. So it is like, okay, fine. I started manifesting. This is the boy she wants to get married to. This is the place which she wants to go to. This is the type of life she wants to lead. This is what it was like a blueprint which was spread out in the universe. So I just kept on saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for it. It was the power of gratitude in advance that I could do. I had no visa. I had nothing about my Canada. I just believed that, yes, I can get it with the power. I had did the manifestation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much in advance that I know I will get that thing done. So when you have manifestations, like I said, when you show a blessed people in your life whom you may not be having good relationships with, you suddenly create so much of compassion in your heart. Because do you know what we can do with our lives we can become the you can become a creator of compassion only by blessing people who you may not have good relations with you know anything which you take with you at this point in time with after if you're dead right now what will you take whatever you have collected up till now i do not want to collect only uh, you know, unhappiness and depart from this universe. I must give back to the universe. I must make it so beautiful. People may not remember me for who I was, but I will definitely carry something beautiful with me when I am leaving this universe. It's an opportunity that we all get each day to forgive, to forget, and to move on in our lives. When you forget, you cannot be remembering it or recollecting it because if you are remembering a pain from the past and it is going to put you low that means you have not got over it so whenever you do that gratitude you are risen your frequency has risen and in that raised frequency because you are now feeling happy you're feeling full of love you're feeling full of compassion you are just going to bless people Whatever struggles they are leading with at that point in time, you are going to shower. You can just say, thank you, God. May this person get more money than me. You know, when I say more money than me, because I want that person to be happy. When I want the person to be more beautiful than me, I want that person to be more knowledgeable than me, more healthier than me. You know, when you do that, what is, going, what is it going to happen, Tanja? If people around you are happier, 
they are more prosperous they are more kind they are more gentle you will have circulated that energy of happiness and magic because nobody is going to be envious of you anymore because they are more happier than you and they are going to create a network and in return they too will unconsciously create a network of blessing people so would you love to live in a world where people are happier content prosperous or you want to live in a world where people have narrow sized their lives and they are only thinking about themselves it is a vast difference standing on this side of the earth where people are happy or this side when people are just thinking about themselves and last but not the least what i do and my diet is i start the affirmation of i am do you know what does i am mean i am is everything we have believed the god to have is already in us it's not that god provides us with something we have in it we have it in us but we do not know how to untap it we do not know how to open that door to happiness nothing is installed like you said i was going through a very bad phase in my life and with gratitude i opened it so where did the gratitude come from the gratitude was within you all you needed to do was unblock it unveil it open the door when you open the door to gratitude which already was inside you you unconsciously opened the pathway a journey which is beautiful today in your but life. i want to ask you something you're in the beginning when people start to practice gratitude it's hard to feel a really gratitude we of course we, yes. we we talk about gratitude we want to be grateful but in the beginning a lot of people can't really feel gratitude what you recommend okay see what happens is you must first and foremost you know you know when you don't believe they say that ask believe and receive these are the three tools now i want to ask and tell people you know when you ask what are you telling the universe i want money i want health i want this i want that i want that take care that in numerous you can have hundreds and thousands now why is it that most of the people do not receive what they want and they stop believing in the power of gratitude because they believe in the first step ask 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 let's ask this ask ask us they do not believe that is where the downfall starts you know they want immediate results immediate results how can you just get tell me if you are planning to make at the most delicious uh, chicken will it not take some particular time for it to cook to prep to put it in the griller it's going to give around about say half an hour one hour you know it will be done you know i can cook this very nicely because you have the belief now i would say that whenever you have a problem in your life which you cannot handle and you do not know how to believe into it then one simple tool is close your eyes just close your eyes and like i said every night before you go to sleep just play a recorder in your mind of gratitude just be grateful for that particular day if you are not grateful for what happened in the past you're not grateful for what happened in the future you can live a life of gratitude for that present day like how we do in our reiki practice just for today i'm going to be kind just for today i'm going to be happy just for today i'm going to bless people just for today i'm going to be you know uh, a couple of compassion full of kindness just for today so when you start dealing each day as it comes you are creating magic in each day so suddenly what you did yesterday will not matter to you after a passage of time because you are concentrating of one day at a time and when you start concentrating on one day you do will not even know how miracles can alter your life your thought your subconscious mind i have had this in reality when i want you know there's a sanskrit is a language it's uh, in hinduism we have sanskrit all the shlokas all the mantras i was very enamored by sanskrit since childhood i used to you know love the voice of those mantras i felt mag magical apparently with the growing up years i never had time to indulge in listening to them 
after marriage i went to a store and i asked i want to hear sanskrit mantras so they asked me what sort do you want to hear i said i don't know anything about it but i want you to recommend something nice to me and give it to me the person gave me a audio it i'm talking about something like 1993 so the person gave me a cassette which was used to be in the cassette players and every morning he said a side to be played in the morning b side in the evening i said okay fine i must have played it for 10 long years not knowing what is playing but just the vibration the frequency i used to get i used to feel nice apparently the cassette got destroyed with the passage of time and i lost touch with in 2013 when i restarted being grateful for life i started the practice of gratitude do you know what happened one fine day i just suddenly uh, somebody told me you must listen to this hindu shloka which is very good which is positive you get you know money you get this you get that i said okay fine when i started playing it on a recorder i suddenly realized that this is what i was playing for 15 years of my life and in those 15 years of my life but universe was blessing me universe was with me and one day when i was sleeping a mantra which i had stopped chanting i literally had the my god my believer whom i call as lord vishnu he woke me up from my sleep and he told me that uh, you must start chanting this mantra and in my sleep i am asking him where do i find it how do you know how do i know he says go to this particular youtube open this type this and you will receive it next morning i woke up i typed and there it was so that means people may not believe me but it is real that is the power you have when you sleep with gratitude take each day as it comes do not think i can alter a new future today i can i will but with my persistent faith you know be you know persistent thing that i can so that is why when i say i am just before going to sleep do you know what happens we all have a subconscious mind and a conscious mind conscious mind is what we do each day we recall i did this i did this but the subconscious mind invariably it was taught to me in my reiki that we do not utilize our subconscious mind at all it is a warehouse the 97% of whatever our capacity is to do is in the subconscious yes just before going to sleep i keep on telling myself i am divine i have to believe i am divine universe does not create anything rubbish i am divine i am beautiful i am powerful i am an infinite being with infinite possibilities i am the source of creation i am creative i am you know i am joy i am peace whatever i want to see in my life i am money itself i am the beauty which i want to see others to see in me i am a you know i am enormous i am love i am happiness i am joy i am powerful i am universal's gift you know this is something when i sleep with each night from a passage of time this three things which i do at night trust me i find myself waking up to a happier me to a more you know blessed me because you know universe blesses you when you start accepting the fact that you are beautiful you are divine you are creative you are telling the universe now i know that you are there within me like i said namaste if i acknowledge the fact that god resides in me i acknowledge the fact that i am god i can you the know people uh, uh, as i work with people uh, i i see that a lot of people uh, have a bad image about themselves about what they really deserve uh, they have so low expectations so low uh, self belief so low self esteem and uh, with that mindset heart set and soul set we can't receive no. what universe has for us what do you think about it how See. to change that and See. is this uh, is discipline very important to uh, have discipline in practice gratitude or, or a lot of yeah. people 
work gratitude oh i work gratitude for seven days nothing happened no. uh, and meditation you... and everything see how can you alter a major portion of your mindset because see we all in our hindu scriptures we know that it is not only this birth i'm dealing with we are an infinite belief because after doing my reiki i did very many other cons courses i did access access consciousness as well and in that i was taught that i am an infinite being with infinite possibilities so if i am an infinite being i have been born in numerous times before i have been born this time and i am going to be born again so why can i not understand this one little line i am an infinite being why am i living a life in the box why am i not living a life out of the box which is so vast which is so open and so amazing you know living in a box is like living in boundaries living in a tiny capsule you are not able to have access to major things in life universe like i told you before the father and mother the creator and the mother want us to enjoy every possible thing in our lives because that's what is available to you you have a vast network available to you but are you actually accessing everything like i told you you have a mindset you have a subconscious mind you can deal with any capacity but the first thing i want to tell you that yes we must have a practice of gratitude people believe that having gratitude i did it for one month i did it till the book lasted and then you know suddenly things did not work out for me how can things work out for you in those 28 days when you've taken 28 years to make it in ruins who will accept that, that challenge that gratitude is to be done every day you can uh, you know a uh, state a time they say actually they say the more is less the more gratitude is always less because gratitude is not something just about saying gratitude for by you know if you received a gift or you received water to drink why do you not say gratitude every time when you say have the water because i you know i do this practice each day water is one element which has the capacity to store your thoughts and instantly you know i learned it and i did it every morning the first thing which i have is a cup of tea and i'm sure people have coffee or morning whatever anything which you have first thing in the morning just hold the glass of water and 21 times if you just show your gratitude for whatever you want yeah <laughs> you can say like if you want a new job thank you for my new job thank you for my new job thank you for my new job you can say it for 21 times and then you can have the water for me when i did something like this within 2 days my very big wish got come fulfilled but people want instant you know uh, instant uh, results if you want instant results you have to be walking on the path of gratitude every day you cannot just have it one day you can have it every morning if you can start with a few simple things you know what i do is you know people who are new to gratitude the easiest way for them is to have a you know write down 10 major things which they want in their lives 10 major things and they can have it on a post it or a piece of paper and stick it on their fridge or they can have it on their wallpaper like i also have it you know because i'm reminded to do gratitude So every time when I open the fridge door, I remember to say gratitude in advance. Whenever I look at my mobile, I say gratitude. So I, subconsciously, my mind is so tuned that whatever I see, I start doing gratitude. So people who are new to practice, it takes time to formulate a habit. But I believe it takes twenty-one days to formulate a habit. Whatever you do for twenty-one days to at a stretch, trust me. you will get habitual to doing those things every day in your life so first thing in the morning show gratitude at least for being alive show gratitude to the sun people they say you know when you just i keep on you know scolding my children i tell them you know if you leave uh, you waste energy in your house in the source of light you don't switch it off you are wasting the sun energy you will waste your own energy they say you know sun and moon they are very important in our lives sun deals with your energy the thought so if you are wasting electricity 
or any form of energy you are wasting your own energy you will feel depleted at the end of the day so make very useful in energy because energy is very important we all know that if you are low on energy you cannot be able to live a happy life you are going to be ill and moon is associated with your mind if your mind is not working what was going to happen you are dumb you are not able to deal with any issues you are always stuck in your life stagnant so you must learn to save the sun energy by not wasting any electricity at home or any source of you know appliances don't keep them on don't misuse them and moon is the mind so don't waste water water holds the maximum ability to store your you know manifestation so if you are wasting water please don't do that so you that is what once... about the water uh, can you uh, tell about the programming water okay. with reiki okay sure now see if uh, you are reiki healers generally what happens early in the morning if there you are, are reiki... a lot of reiki healers here okay. with us so, so we can okay so early in the morning what you can do is whenever you charge your hands with all the symbols okay when you activate your symbols on your palm early in the morning what are you doing you are activating the energy of touching everything okay so whatever i touch now will have that energy of reiki if i'm holding on to food it's going to be full of energy you know the reiki energy the positive energy and if you're holding on to a glass of water you are acting energy now as we know water has the ability to retain and absorb every energy what you want so early in the morning for reiki healers or for everybody this is something everybody can yes. do if you are not a reiki healer you definitely have belonging to some culture in hindu you can just draw a om om is got the highest frequency so if you just draw the om or even if you do not know any symbol no need to worry all you need to do is tell universe activate my energy centers in my palm and the universe will do that and yet if you want to make it more powerful just keep on rubbing your hands once you keep on rubbing your hands all you need to do is create a gap like this just keep on you know doing like this after a particular point of time you will realize that you have created a chi ball because now this energy is full of you know that positive energy what you can do it you can either put it over your head so that you have that energy you can put it over your children you can put it over your books you can put it in food and water now when you have want to alter anything in your life i trust water i trust water a lot because in the night when i go to sleep i have a bottle of water i put my mantras in it i chant my mantras into the water there is a mantra which i chant it is lalitam subramanyam lalitam kumaram lalitam shanmugam this is a mantra it is called the wish fulfilling mantra i chant it for 11 times and i thank god for every possible tiny thing in my life i have three sips of water and i place that water in the on my bed side the next day morning when i wake up i pick up that water bottle again i chant it for 11 times and i show appreciation to god i show gratitude to god and at that point in time anything which i really want to manifest in my life i just say to god i say this is something which i am not able to understand i want a solution to it and i have that water and out of the blue suddenly i start getting ideas i suddenly start experiencing the magical change in my life like i told you the magical book in my life which was blessed and shown to be my my niece i'm even grateful every time when i talk about magic it's never that i forget to show gratitude to my niece because she is the one who took me to the bookstore she is the one who made me you know pick up this book and gratitude it should be in abundance so when you so gratitude and there is one other thing which i do keep with me you know if you want to know this is called as bhagavad gita okay this is a holy book for us they say that lord krishna who wrote this you know has given this gita has written everything about 
what and how you should lead your life. It has answers to every problem in my life. So what I do is when I'm doing Reiki, now I'm talking about Reiki and otherwise people who are Reiki healers. I put, I have this Gita and I have these notes in it. Any solutions which I'm not able to get in life, I write it on a piece of paper. I draw all the Reiki symbols, which I am attuned to it. And I ask for a solution and I put it in this book. And I tell universe guide, Lord Krishna, please show me the path or show me a guideline where I can open up. And I use this book, you know, whenever I'm giving distant Reiki healing to people, which I do, I put all their uh, papers in this book. I have all the papers in this book. And when I'm giving healing, I hold the book. I give healing to this book. So it is going to each one of them. Wow, it's a beautiful way to send distant Reiki. Yeah, so it is like, you know, for me, it is magnificent because I believe that uh, when you are inviting the energies of God, it becomes magnificent because he has solutions to each problem, which we believe that we don't have. So it's always better, you know, to join people inside, like because I have this book, it's constantly with me. It's constantly, even if I'm traveling, I'm giving Hiriki healing to people. And anytime there is some problem, I'm stuck. I do not know what is the correct right way. I just write it down. I put it in this book and I just say, universe, I know you're going to pass. Give me that solution to it. So it's not only for Reiki healers, but it is for everybody. Anybody can do it. And if you have a Bible, I'm sure Bible also gives you solutions. Any holy scripture book you have, it's not only Bhagavad Gita you can take. You can do with any book. Any holy scripture you have your belief in. So, like I said, practice and practice every day. Take each day as it comes and you will find solutions. I feel, you know, and suddenly I feel, oh God, why did I not think of it this way? So this and, is the... uh, and I can say uh, when we don't feel gratitude, when we have uh, hard times in our life, uh, you can uh, ask your friend to work a gratitude challenge with you. It's uh, sometimes it's hard to, to work uh, all alone. alone. It's, it's okay to have your teacher, mentor or friend, which will help you, which will guide you. Uh, and you can do together or in small group or in big group, the bigger groups. Why you uh, work these challenges in groups? Is the power of group working uh, bigger than to work one on one? Okay, so see when I, after 2017, when I started teaching people, I realized that people were getting in touch with me from very many parts of the corners, from Mauritius, from different parts of the world, people were connecting with me. And, you know, to connect with them uh, differently or separately is becoming tough for me. So what I did was I formulated a group and I started having very many different groups like if you've seen, like I had a group where I, you know, if they have any problem, any problem, they get in touch with me. I feel, yes, I, if I can, you know, find some solutions for them, I do share them. People are coming to me for very many things like, you know, they don't have a job. They don't have, uh, you know, good relationships. They have issues in their life. They have health problems. So at that point in time, I teach them how to be grateful. And I have noticed that every time when they are in the group, they are, you know, uh, practicing it, even if not a um, uh, big, uh, very many uh, gratitudes, but they are into that flow. And when I do stop or I'm not in touch with them, they are again to part square one. The reason being is because they need a push every day. They need somebody to motivate me. And I feel that if I can motivate somebody, why not? Yeah. Because people in Inspire. They need inspiration like coffee and tea each morning. They need somebody to just inspire them. You know, because difficulties and challenging situations will not stop coming into your life. But if you are able to tackle them, if you are able to face them, or if you are able to unveil and make them so tiny that it's not going to disturb your presence of your mind, which can only happen when you are in the path of gratitude. Gratitude. There are, and like as I said, gratitude not only made me uh, teach people, but I learned a lot from gratitude. 
Mm-hmm. I knew that, you know, every situation has a, you know, can be tackled. I can do everything if I am grateful. And very many times when I am down the hill or if I am cribbing, complaining, I realize that I am very far away from gratitude and I have to start from the starting. Gratitude means if you have, if you want to be on the path, you better be it every day. You have to talk and you have to believe what you say. If you cannot just say that I am grateful, what does gratitude mean if you are not uh, appreciating the, the, you know, the victory of another? If you are not able to be joyous in another person's life, you are not grateful. Our gratitude does not define us to being grateful for ourselves. Show gratitude when you see people being happy. Ask universe to be make them more happy. You know, there are purpose in our lives. Why do you think that over a period of time, Reiki healers have increased? Why do you think people are, you know, getting in touch with Reiki healing? Because they have realized that over a passage of time, the frequency which they were born with has just ebbed away. We need to raise our frequency. What happens in the process of giving, you get, give Reiki. You increase your own frequency as well. You will notice that when you are giving Reiki to another person, your frequency has increased. You have suddenly become compassionate. Suddenly there is a healer inside you which has awakened. You want that person to be healed. So that is why the energy which oozes out from your palm is not only for yourself. It's for people around you. And unknowingly, You will notice that very many Reiki healers have energy coming out from their foreheads as well. Because if they awaken their Agya Chakra or the third eye, they have suddenly, you know, unblocked a path which is more divine. You know, in the presence of divinity, there is a miracle which can happen at every stage in time. Don't you believe that a miracle happens when you are, you know, connected to the creator? Like we all have a charger for our phone. Wouldn't it be nice if we just plugged ourselves into the creator? You are getting the direct energy from them. And that energy, when you are forwarding it to another person, what is going to happen? They are going to receive the energy of divine. So whenever I am giving Reiki healing or energy, I always ask my Lord to connect with me. I connect myself with that God and I ask them that I want your energy to flow through me to the person. Because that is something which is extremely powerful. And when I I generally, you know, when I'm giving Reiki healing, I add my mantras. I have at least, uh, say, um, around 50, 60 mantras. Whenever I'm giving Reiki healing to people, like I said, this is the book, the slips are in this, and I chant different mantras, Sanskrit mantras. Some are for health, some are for wealth, some are for well-being, some are for energy, some are for, you know, for different purposes, I just chant mantras. Because, you know, when our frequency ebbs away, when we are feeling low of energy, I believe that frequency can increase it. I remember I shared a frequency with you last week. I don't know. I don't know whether you, I shared a frequency with you last yes. week. Yes. Did you get the chance to listen to it? Yes. What did you feel about it? I, I, I love to hear that videos with frequencies and I really believe in, in the power of the, of the sound. And uh, I, I, even when we talk, uh, when I, I feel the energy of the words uh, and in that uh, video you sent me, I felt a lot of beautiful energy falling on me yeah. and uh, my fre- frequency rise. Uh, I really like to so, listen that kind of way. Uh, so this is something which we all have to understand by just listening to a frequency. If our mindsets can alter, if we alter and become that frequency, what can you not manifest in your life? There will a platform of happiness is awaiting for us. It's There's a pure so much physical. Physical. Yeah. It's a pure so it's physical. so we must untap that potential which we all have. But we have not, you know, put in the charger in the right socket. 
So what is that socket? That socket is gratitude. Like I told you, gratitude not only made me or, you know, or give me everything what I have today, but it also started resolving issues in my family. It started resolving my health issues, my mental issues, issues my children were facing in their lives. I started acquiring more knowledge. I started acquiring more people who were my well-wishers and I theirs. I feel like to be sitting here right now across, you know, people are hearing me whom I don't even know. This is something maybe I manifested. I wanted to be on this side like this and uh, I just manifested and you did it for me. So how does it get better than this? Universe always is in, you know, um, we sync with people of who are you know showing appreciation in life how can you and when we work with gratitude when we practice gratitude uh, benefits are not only for us for our family for our friends for each human being or, or even animal yeah. have uh, oh. benefits from when we practice gratitude because our body frequencies are higher when we yeah. practice gratitude and that's so when, beautiful uh, see in that challenging time uh, in the challenge the 28 days uh, challenge did we not do the cycle where we started off with showing gratitude to the basic things in our life to the tiny little elements in our life then the major things like money health issues relationship issues these are the three vital things where every person is fighting against we are fighting against our health issues we are fighting against um, monetary issues and we are having tremendous amount of relationship issues every night like i told you when i do sit and think who is my enemy i have find that there is no enemy i have there is no enemy whatsoever i do not wish ill for anybody because i don't hold anybody any longer as in the you know category of an enemy i feel everything what i want today i can obtain it by the mere challenge mere desire of showing gratitude gratitude in the sense of showing appreciation in your daily life just before going to sleep the powerful technique lies just at that point in time because what are you doing you have had a lovely day you have showed gratitude for every tiny thing in what happened during that day the tiniest elements which you throw gratitude to is the, they they say na the miracles lie in the tiny things of life miracles don't lie in the big capacity book yeah. box they lie in the tiny elements today if i just take away the sun from you would you be able to survive no that's the tiny thing which you never show appreciation to if i take away all the water away from you are you going to survive no there's going to be chaos in your life you never show appreciation to it do you take your life to be granted yes you do take your life to be granted so that is why you never show appreciation to be able to breathe to be able to chew your food to be able to digest your food have you shown appreciation to your body part every day no you show complaints you tell them about the complaints if your arm is not working if you are you are not uh, you are having a back ache if you are having a knee ache you do not show gratitude when i came to canada just recently i was experiencing a lot of knee pain because maybe exertion or what happened i don't know i realized at that point in time that i have not shown gratitude to my body parts from a long time and at that point in time i started showing gratitude every night wow. i'd activated my chuck hands i started doing gratitude to every part of my body every night after doing i am i started doing gratitude i rubbed both my palms together i created an energy ball for anybody who has joined us we can create an energy ball anybody does not need to be a reiki healer all you need to do is rub your palms together and create an elasticity like that create a round ball like that you will feel energy you can just pick it up and just put it over your head and now that's the time you know when you say gratitude 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 what all are the contents in your mind are keeping you alive if your brain stops functioning you are dead so you have to be appreciating your brain 
and any body part like i generally hold it like that because you know my mind needs to have the energy for that i can be able to you know be alive understand the gift of life the beauty of life in is, is in gratitude every day is a new day for each one of us we don't understand that that gift which we unwrap each morning is never appreciated it's just taken for granted every morning how many of us actually wake up with the feeling of gratitude gratitude that you don't have any pain in the body gratitude for the internal organs they say the cells in our body listen to us very carefully every day the cells are very intentively listening to us because they are our body cells if you are full of venom anger unhappiness the cells start getting dark they start start getting clogged together they create internal disorders they create unhappiness within themselves and over a period of time when we are not attending to them or we are not transferring our thoughts to becoming positive they suddenly create a disorder and that is this creates initially it's a pain the pain gets you know rigorous and creates into a health disorder so we have to understand the power of gratitude how you can implement it in our life with such tiny little practices it does not take you, you don't need to be sitting on a ship you know spacecraft or you don't need to buy anything to do be grateful be grateful you don't need to get any outsourcing for be grateful the gratitude is either in you or it's not in you and it's there it's just that you've not believed into this practice like i said ask we love to ask things but we do not believe in the second point believe the belief takes a period of time a period of practice that yes my life is opening up that is for the new beginners who believe who do, are into you know, the newbies in uh, gratitude the first step show gratitude ask what you want to believe into it do a practice daily every day begin your day with gratitude have a, a wallpaper on your mobile show for the 10 basic uh, desires you want show gratitude every time you open your phone in the night do that 15 minutes of challenging practice of 5 minutes gratitude for yourself 5 minutes for the people who are disturbing the peace of your mind and 5 minutes doing affirmations that i am divine if you don't want to do anything else i am divine and then the water challenge water pick up the glass of water add gratitude to it and have it it's like going to flush the toxins away from your body so these are the simple practices which we can do and we have a chance to do every single day wouldn't it be lovely how do you begin your day it would be so beautiful that each day we start with gratitude and uh, what i saw when i have gratitude in my life when when i do my gratitude practice uh, i feel better my reiki treatments are better my uh, life circumstances are better everything is better when i felt that uh, i i i have injuries i have uh, sometimes uh, illness problems i have some, but it's so so rare of course but when i feel that i know it's a uh, time for gratitude i yeah. know that i don't feel enough gratitude maybe i feel it but i don't feel it enough and i have some days when when i only write my 10 uh, gratitude sentences but i don't feel it and uh, when we only only write that write it. yes that's not so uh, powerful but when we feel yeah. maybe we write one one only one sentence but we feel it with all of our heart, heart. i i feel difference and uh, when i uh, lose uh, that practice of gratitude i i i i see it in my daily life oh oh and i say to myself uh, to to me your vibration is low so yeah. do something and the most the fastest thing which i practice 
to rise my vibration, vibra vibration is gratitude practice. Reiki and gratitude are two easiest yeah. and two yeah. fastest ways to have a better frequency, better vibration, better life. So I can uh, really recommend with all of my heart, uh, even first degree of Reiki is beautiful for each yeah. soul, even first degree. Yeah. Or if people don't want uh, to energy to work energy, uh, only practice gratitude. Yeah. In that. But Reiki that's and gratitude, gratitude is good combination. Yeah, that's it. I think the like I said, the share the frequencies with you. You can have the frequency, gratitude, and uh, the three things together. You know, when you are in the night, you can play the frequency which I shared with you. You can sh do Reiki to yourself and show gratitude to yourself. That a trio combination becomes so powerful for every Reiki healer and every soul. You will notice that instantly your frequency has risen at least this much. Suddenly you will start feeling energetic. You must share the link of both the frequencies. In this time, in this time, in this moment, I I um, I thought. I must share this uh, link you Wait. shared with me on my newsletter list and in my story I will share because it's so powerful that yeah, video. I will share frequency. another link with you as well because suddenly I saw there were two links. One free, the, the first previous link which I shared with you, it's going to raise your frequency and the second is for the Reiki healers also and all of us because they have that frequency for all the seven chakras. And when I played it for some time, I could feel a strong sensation in my root chakra because, you know, I could feel it, the energy moving in that. Mm -hmm. And I would recommend it. Actually, I could recommend it that it is amazing. And when you feel, when you're listening it to you, always make sure you have your, your phones on because, you know, the outer voice is not disturbing you. And at that point in time, you can just say gratitude. You can say gratitude. If it's playing for the root chakra, keep on showing appreciation to the foundation, to your roots, because those, you know, your root chakra is the chakra. If it is healed, a lot of possibilities open up in your life because that's the foundation. We all know that root chakra is invariably the toughest to crack because see, like in Reiki, we have seven chakras. Three higher chakras, that is, those are already evolved. Throat, third eye, and the crown. And the heart chakra is basically the bridge. You know, it's the bridge between the lower and the higher chakras. So the lower chakras are very dense. The lower chakras are the ones which have created uh, issues in our life, struggles in our life, challenges in our life, because the desire to be powerful, desire to obtain money, desire to have, you know, health issues, physical issues, relationship issues, all are there in the denser lower three mm -hmm. chakras. So you must listen to that frequency because it's going to start, you know, helping you as a normal person, even if you're not a Reiki healer, you must listen to them because I feel that can really help a lot of us. And gratitude, that it is endless. We can talk endlessly about gratitude because gratitude has no limits. What you can be grateful for. We all know that when we are grateful for something, it cannot just refrain from uh, this much. It is endless it's today because like for people, new beginners, they don't know what to be grateful for. They must, wherever they are sitting, start picking up each item which is placed in that room and start showing gratitude to it. Gratitude that you had the money to buy it. And when you do that, trust me, in one tiny little room, you'll find at least 200 things by which you paid and you bought it. So you had the money to buy it. So invariably, and if a relationship is not bad or it's not going good, then it's time you start appreciating that relationship. It may not be the way we want it to be, but that person could be a better son if he could be a better father he could be an extremely uh, amazing friend he could be an excellent uh, you know worker or he could be a very good colleague for somebody every person is born with some talent is born with so many blessings 
and we only see those things which are disturbing us so we must not just refrain from looking at that person with one single point of view we must enlarge our mind and see that sky is the limit when we see that sky is the limit i will start noticing the good qualities in that person as well he may not be the best person around me but definitely he has those qualities and if i start showing gratitude i have unrealized i can change anything in my life any relationship which is not according to my liking i can change it because today that's what i say i don't have any enemies i have nothing nothing nobody disturbs the peace of my mind anymore and if the person does disturb it's for a very little time because i realize that that is the moment when i need to start adding more gratitude to it rather than complaining about a person i must show gratitude that person needs my gratitude i need to put i have to i have a choice either i can complain about the person or i can i can show appreciation and i trust appreciation because complaining about the, the person will kill the relationship for sure it's like like acid the more acid i pour upon it it's not going to be existing anymore do you think so yes of course yeah, we choose we choose uh, what we will feel and it depends on our thoughts so yeah. we can control uh, that's uh, so beautiful mechanism that we have yeah. uh, we think uh, we have ba uh, bad results because of our bad actions no yeah. not because only of our bad actions uh we can go deeper deeper behind our actions are our feelings of behind course. our feelings are our thoughts and it's so uh, powerful that we of have course. control of our thoughts it's and when we choose gratitude when we each day choose today i want to be grateful i choose gratitude my heart is full of gratitude we choose to feel b b b better we then we have better actions then we have better results a lot of uh, people try to change only actions without changing Inten how they feel without changing our mind but we must rewind and we must start from the beginning it's of so course. important and narrow uh, it was my beautiful uh, honor uh, to have you oh, as a guest thank you so much Sanjay. because thank you, so you much. are the first person in my life which uh, explained gratitude so deeply so completely and your uh, way of living gratitude was my uh, light of the great light in my life to feel gratitude to learn gratitude so people gratitude uh, we can learn gratitude Of if course. you don't feel gratitude if you don't know how to feel gratitude you can join our i will uh, do soon in september gratitude gratitude challenge because uh, it's most beautiful gratitude i ever i i i work a lot of challenges but gratitude is so simple every anybody can do it and of course. Uh, results are immediately Egypt, immediately Egypt. even in little uh, even when we uh, can feel better when of course. we start practicing gratitude we feel better in the next time of course. in the next of course. moment it basically gratitude what does gratitude do for us gratitude instantly Instant. adds energy Yes. It's instant. You know when you do 10, 20, 30, 40 sentences of gratitude, you will notice a change occurring in yourself. Yes. You know that like I said, everything is possible if your intentions become powerful. And intentions can become powerful when you are having a calm, peaceful life and you are overflowing with gratitude. Mm -hmm. Gratitude is the key to every solution. every challenge which you are facing today if you are not able to tap into it i'm sure they'll start joining your classes and you can jolly teach them how to become grateful because gratitude has no boundaries i'm sure it has no boundaries whatsoever gratitude has no boundaries and uh, to, uh, this evening we show that I'm yeah of Serbia, course <laughs> you're in canada 
Europe, yeah. Europe, India, and <laughs> India. when we talk about boundaries, we don't only think we yeah, yeah. exactly we don't think about uh, country the boundaries. Countries, yeah. Yes. Because uh, we need to flow. There's just a flow from your side to mine and mine to yours. And I'm sure anybody who has listened to us and understood the element of gratitude will now pursue how to get into that moment of feeling happy constantly. That's what gratitude gives you. You're happy always. You're constantly in that mode of happiness. So I want, That's what gratitude. So I want from this night uh, uh, who watched this live to write down even uh, only 10 gratitudes for yeah. tonight and to, to, to finish this day with gratitude and to start to start next day, tomorrow morning, only with uh, gratitude. With, with gratitude, write down. It's so important to write down. I agree. I agree. Thank you so much, Tanja. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to each one of us who has been on this platform, and I'm ble I'm blessed. I feel blessed every day of my life. Thank you so much, Tanja. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Neri, Neru, for everything tonight. Thank so you be free so much. to share this live. You can uh, write in DM to us if you have some question about gratitude or Reiki. So thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. See you. Thank you. Take thank care. You. Bye. Bye.